The Dreaded Case of Dred Scott. Ah! No, this wasn't from Lindsay Lohan's wedding night. It was a runaway slave being arrested. In 1846, when a slave's owner died, the slave tried to purchase his freedom. The slave's name was Dred Scott. Who would name their kid Dred anyway? Dred's new owner wouldn't sell. The abolitionists, people unified in trying to abolish slavery, hence the catchy title, backed Dred to sue for his rights to freedom. They filed a lawsuit stating that Dred had left slave territory, gone into free man territory, and should now legally be declared a free man. The Dred Scott legal case turned the page on one of the uglier chapters in American law. Scott's original owner's family had moved from Missouri, a slave state, to Illinois, a non-slave state, then to Minnesota, a non-slave state, then he moved back to Missouri. The case exploded onto the national scene. The abolitionists claimed that once Dred passed into a non-slave state, he was freed. Their motto, once free, always free. Taco Bell tried a similar motto recently, but sales plummeted. Dred lost in the Missouri state ruling, but won the right to have an appeal. The case made it all the way up to the Supreme Court. The press ate it up. National headlines. TMZ covered it, too. The chief justice at the time was Roger Taney. He owned slaves. Andrew Jackson, also a slave owner, was the president and the guy who appointed him. Taney's key legal focus? States' rights over federal. That is, laws enacted by states should trump those enacted by the federal government when there's a conflict. Taney wrote, Slaves have no rights, which any white man was bound to respect. In effect, Taney confirmed that slaves were property, not human. Taney's ruling had more teeth than ruining one man's life. It essentially overturned the Missouri Compromise. Taney sort of perverted the human rights element of the law. It wasn't about depriving the slave of his rights. It was about depriving the slave owner of his rights in owning the slave. That is, you can't just take away property because a slave steps one foot outside of paradise. The decision basically took away the right to ever end slavery because if that happened, all the good white folk who had paid good hard cash to buy their version of dread would be deprived of property. But a good thing did come from the case. The ruling helped a certain someone's famous Emancipation Proclamation gain popularity years later. But it also was one of the pivotal points turning the nation toward what would become the American Civil War. Was the judge correct? in that states' rights should trump federal law? Would the Civil War have happened if the Dred Scott case had turned out differently? We want to know. Shmup amongst yourselves. Go for it.